Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you the review of Android Lollipop Thin Custom ROM on Samsung Galaxy S2 SGT7562. Installation process is same as my old tutorial video of installing Android 4.4. The only difference is that instead of copying Android 4.4 room, you have to copy Altouch room on your phone, link of which is in the description. Uh, the installation process definitely I would say is easy. Click here to check out the tutorial video. Uh, I have also added its link down below in the description. I would like to inform you that it is not Android 5.0 actually. It's just an Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich with themed interface. This room has a lot of lags and if you really want to change your phone's room then I would prefer you to install Android 4.4.2 which is much better than this. But even I will be showing you the review. So let's go on. <laughs> Okay, now this is the review of Android Lollipop theme room on Asus, which is Altouch room, I guess. Uh, firstly, you will notice that there is no change in the lock screen, no notification is appearing, it is the same as the all lock screen with just new wallpaper. Uh, the similarities are pretty much the same with some minor changes. Uh, I think you can see new messaging notification at the middle. Let's try opening it. Okay, so open it. That's just new messaging app with new look. Now, I think there's some problem with my home button. Okay, so we are back actually. Uh, you will see that there are a lot of changes in the icons, uh, which is actually not so special and you can even change them with just some applications available on Google Play. So what makes this room different than other stock rooms? So I don't know. We have, uh, open the menu and take a closer look at all the applications uh, this room comes with a pre-installed file manager found on cyanogen maybe I guess uh, it is a maze okay so I will open it interface is of Android lollipop it is real nice actually I must say uh, it is good that the notification bar is changing the color of actually notification bar is changing which is even a feature of Android 5.0 but the problem I'm facing here is I think even you can see due to white color of the notification bar I'm unable to see anything oh not again I'm stuck I think due to my damaged home key but I actually can also use my back key to go back okay, so I will go back you can take a closer look at the Android version. So just go to settings about device and you will see here that this room is, is not at all 5.0. Uh, it's just Android 4.4.4. Uh, this room is developed by some Haitian, I don't know. So just tap the Android version several times and see what happens. Okay, so hold it down. Okay, uh, now again. Oh shit, what the hell the graphics are. They are just f Now, try tapping it, see what happens. Hold it down. A game name, Lollipop Land will open. Now just play this game. Now just play this game. Even the game is not nice and has a lot of problems. If you really want to play this game, then go ahead and download one from Google Play. Really, what the hell this room is? I really don't know. Okay, going back. So let's have a quick glance on the notification panel. You have all the quick toggle buttons that you have on Android Lollipop. But it doesn't run properly and I would say that has a lot of lags. Even you can see I'm unable to swipe up the notification bar. If I really want to swipe it up then I have to push it up from down bottom or just have to press the back button. But we know that it is just a themed room not actual lollipop so we cannot expect a lot from it. Now we will take a closer look at the task manager for checking up how much RAM it is using. Even this multitasking design is not of lollipop, I would say. 
there's no less use of RAM it uses the same RAM what the TouchWiz use even I would say that this is slower than TouchWiz now take a closer look at the browser let's try opening google.com so okay so google google.com i will actually hide it for some time i will try to search something on google to actually find out the speed of the browser I will scroll the page down and check out the speed so it's nice and not very much laggy I would say but the problem is uh, I think here even you can see uh, here when I scroll down the page see what happens here I don't know why it is happening but this is just uh, custom rope developed by some third-party person I don't know Another thing that you will notice that there are no software buttons at the bottom and you even can change settings unlike other CNOJ devices. I know what you wanted to ask that whether this room can be used as daily needs or not. I would probably say that this cannot be used. Uh, the good features are you can change the look and feel uh, what you even can do in I think other rooms even in stock rooms. So, that doesn't make it actually special and this room is very sheltering and not at all smooth as far as I see uh, you cannot get the experience of Android 5.0 lollipop which are running on other devices so don't expect a lot from it so if you really enjoy this video hit the subscribe button that will be much appreciated and if you have any queries just ask me in the comment section down below